Need some help finding some edge in the prop market? Check out the Props AI tool on the LineStar app, your one-stop shop for all the information you need to place smarter bets. Gain insights into player history, projections, and trends, along with sportsbook odds. You can even compare the lines across multiple sportsbooks using our Prop Finder. Get the edge with Props AI today at linestarapp.com and take your prop betting game to the next level. Good luck, and as always, bet responsibly. Welcome to the NBA Prop Show presented by Line Star, your top three NBA player prop bets for today that are available on Underdog Fantasy, Prize Picks, Sleeper, and Chalkboard. Alongside my co-host, Tyler Weeman, I am Shannon Somerville. Tyler, yesterday on the show, we were one and one. Unfortunately, OG and Nobi did not play, so there goes one off our ticket. I hate when they don't list them on the injury reports early on in the day and we get stuck with that. But one and one, it could be worse, Tyler. We could be waking up today, George Pickens or any... Steelers fans today realizing that Arthur Smith is our new offensive coordinator. I'm just saying. Yeah, I mean, at least the Steelers are going to run the ball. <laughs> I'm sure George Pickens is thrilled about that prospect. So yeah. If you, if you, our picks are available again. Underdog Fantasy Prize Pick Sleeper and Chalkboard. If you don't have those apps, links are below. Use the promo code LINESTAR and you'll get up to $100 of your first deposit match. Also, the tool that we use every day on this show, you'll see some graphics pop up with this fancy tool. It's called the Props AI tool. You can find that on the LINESTAR app at linestarapp.com. It'll help you find the best value in the prop market. It's basically a one-stop shop for all of your prop research needs. Make sure to check that out again at linestarapp.com. So we got a smaller slate for tonight in NBA action, but we have found some good picks for you guys. So let's get things started and try to go three for three. If we do go three for three, one randomly selected commenter will win $60. So all you got to do to enter into that contest is like this video, subscribe to the channel and comment below. All right, let's get things started. We're going to start things off with Utah Jazz big man, John Collins, over 12 and a half points going up against my New York Knicks tonight. Lines are projecting 15 points for Collins tonight. He's averaging just over 15 in the month of January, and he has gone over that line in 11 of the last 15 games. Yes, he's going up against the New York Knicks, who are a top five defense. They are also... Uh, eighth in points allowed in the paint. However, they are decimated right now. They are without Julius Randle. Isaiah Hartenstein is on a limits restriction. OG Ananobi is listed as questionable. So their best defenders, remember Mitchell Robinson is already out for the season. So they're already banged up and on the second leg of a back-to-back -back tonight. So that's what John Collins with Collins is going up against tonight. A severely decimated Knicks team for tonight. What's your thoughts, Tyler? <sighs> Yeah, I mean, not only are the Knicks decimated, but Collins have actually been playing very well lately, averaging 15.6 points per game over his last five. He's seen 26 minutes a game over that span. On the season, he's seen like 24 minutes a game, and he's still at 14 or almost 14 points per game. So I think we have a nice little cushion here to go along with the – injuries to the Knicks so mm -hmm. I like the spot and we will see if OG and Anobi is out I think that would actually give another little boost to Collins just because he is a right. very good defender you know which yeah he can guard anybody he, he's, it doesn't matter how big yeah and he's not going to defend him straight up very often mm -hmm. but his help defense is real he's long he's athletic and uh he can cause other people problems too all right, next up, let's go to the Atlanta Hawks going up against the Lakers tonight. We're looking at another big man, Clint Capella, over 10 and a half points, minus 125 in your sports books. Both the line star projection and the consensus projection, which is an average of all of the other industry leaders, all, they're all projecting the over here. He's averaging just over 11 points per game over the course of the season. He's been over that 10 and a half mark three of the last five games and going up against the Lakers who are giving up 17.5 points per game to opposing centers, which is 22nd in the NBA. Also big injury news in this one, Tyler, take it away on that front. Yeah, there is no Anthony Davis in this uh, game. So you got Clint Capella, who versus a Lakers team that's already not great versus center, and now they have their best player out. So their best interior player out. Mm -hmm. So the Lakers are just very hurt up front, and I think we can capitalize on that. Compella is a guy that can score buckets quick, and I think 10.5 is just too low. I mean, he's averaging 11.4 over the last five, 11.2 over the last 20. Now you add in the... Uh, no AD, and I think it's a smash spot for Capella. 
All right, and lastly, we're going to former Indiana Pacer, now Toronto Raptor, Bruce Brown, over five and a half rebounds. The consensus and projection both tending to favor the over here. Brown's averaging 4.9 rebounds per game over the course of the season, but he has been over that five and a half mark in three of the five games since coming over to Toronto from Indiana. There is no RJ Barrett tonight. He is out. Emmanuel quickly is listed as doubtful. Jakob Pertl also questionable in this one. Another thing I like to look at whenever we're looking at a rebounds prop is how good of a shooting team are both of these teams. And they're going up against Chicago. 23rd field goal percentage. Toronto is 11th, but again, without two of their best shooters in this one. So I like Bruce Brown's chances to snag some of those boards tonight and go over that five and a half total. How about you, Tyler? Yeah, I like it too. He started the last two games, played 32 and 37 minutes, had nine rebounds in both of them. And then, you know, if we look at the usage usage matrix a little bit, he's uh, got 11.1 rebounds per 100 without Barrett or Ananobi on the court. Um, well, it's really just Barrett because he wasn't there when Ananobi was there. So you add that in and it looks pretty attractive. I think the number 5.5 is a little bit high for Bruce Brown, but in this matchup, it makes a lot of sense. And I think we can go over. Yeah. So I'm also, when I'm looking at that, going kind of back to the, the Knicks game in this one, I was also kind of considering maybe Colin Sexton over on his points total. That's it's 18 and a half. He's been averaging 20 and a half in January. He's gone over 11 of the last 15 games. And again, the Knicks, have been, I feel like when I, whenever I look at the Knicks and the props, it's always like I'll always pick out a guard or two on the opposing team because one of them tends to pop. We saw it last night. Brandon Miller kind of went off, had a season high 29 points against the Knicks. So something to look for as well if you're looking for an extra prop or two. But again, Tyler, one of the things that you, I guess, uh, you are a little hesitant on, I think it's important to note, is the um, rotation there. So why, uh, why don't you give your take? Yeah. On that? Uh, Utah rotations have just changed so much throughout the entirety of the year that I have worries with him. And Sexton is the one that is most probably at risk to the minute risk because there is Keetion George, there's Jordan mm -hmm. Clarkson, uh, there's Sexton. You know, there's just a lot of other guys that playing well could eat into his minutes. But Sexton lately has been getting those minutes and playing super well. And I don't think 18.5 is too high. It's just my issue is, does he get the minutes or not? I do like the line. I have bet it, but I do know there is some, you know, rotational risk yeah. with Utah. And really yeah, with but maybe they're trotting players, him out there. Just, he's so. nice. He's been talked about as a trade piece and a lot of uh, rumors out there. So, True. You know, consider that. All right. Yeah, they, there's a ton of different ways you can look at that one. Yeah. And I don't, I don't mind it. I just... Uh, want to yeah. bring up you know I've, that minutes risk that he does have yeah i mean it's important to give everybody the full context before they place their bets so if you would like to tail us you can do so on underdog fantasy prize pick sleeper or chalkboard and again use that promo code linesar we want you guys to be able to take advantage of that deal for a hundred dollars of your first deposit match so make sure to do that and if you haven't already give us a like on this video subscribe to the channel and comment below a comment enters you into the prop bets contest we could go three for three and we will set off the money gun and announce a winner on the next show and give out our winning ticket here because we place our money on the same, like we're giving out picks. We're not just talking about them. We are actually placing our money on it. So we like to give out the winnings to those of you guys who have been with us from the beginning. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new to the channel, hope you stick around, subscribe. We've got some content coming your way. We'll be coming out with some early lines for Super Bowl picks. And we're so excited, including the over on how many cutaways we will see of Miss Taylor Swift. You and have to Tyler go there, will don't be you? smashing the over. Of course I had to. Every I mean the opportunity is there for the next two weeks, so I'm gonna take it every time. Uh, good I luck in all <laughs> should have never told you I don't want to hear her name anymore. Good luck in all of your sports betting endeavors. We will see you guys next time. Have a good one. Have a good one guys. Bye.